Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Hill and I'm one of the founding members of Manifest Ministries. And a subset of Manifest Ministries is Hidden Riches, where I take a particular scripture from the Bible and elaborate on it. So today's treasure is found in actually a couple of different places in the Bible, but it started in my prayer time this morning as a prophetic utterance from God. And um, as I was just speaking in tongues and just meditating on the Lord, I saw the river that flows from heaven and as it f was flowing down from heaven it began to create these golden buildings uh, it was a beautiful sight this this amazing pure water cascading down from heaven and it began to construct these buildings just begin to materialize and they were golden beautiful buildings and, uh, and there were verses that just immediately began to pop up and one of them is found in Hebrews 11:10, and I want to read that to you. There's also another. I'm also going to read uh, Psalm 127 in its entirety, and a few other passages of Scripture. But uh, if I can just find it here real quick. So Hebrews, <clears throat> excuse me, Hebrews 11:10, and it's speaking of Abraham, and it says. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Um, this is a time of reset for much of the church and to reevaluate where she is and, and what we've built that may not have been of the Lord. And to not be in a hurry to just do church as usual, to not just do our gatherings as usual, but really wait upon the Lord and to strip away and remove anything that's something that we have built. Uh, it's really a time, it's a, it's a time of great mercy and grace from God. Uh, mercy in that he's given us more time to build correctly, maybe to even uproot foundations, to bust up foundations, to re-pour the right foundations, and of grace that he breathes upon it and enables us to do it. Uh, so Abraham was looking for that, that, that city whose builder and maker was God. And I see God doing that. I see him pouring out so purely and there's going to be there's new ministries there's new expressions of heaven and expressions of how God's kingdom operates that are um, they are fully funded by God and they are fully that's what I'm hearing right now fully funded by God um, it's a it's a pure investment from him but it's also built of the Lord and I also want to read uh, like I said just a few others Psalm 127 is a powerful passage as well and I'm gonna read that in its entirety it says unless the Lord builds the house the labor they labor in vain who build it I'm gonna read that again unless the Lord builds the house they labor in vain who build it unless the Lord guards the city the watchman stays awake in vain it is it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows for so he gives his beloved sleep other translations say that the one he loves he gives rest Verse 3 says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. These verses 3 through 5 almost feel as if it's a disconnected thought from the initial part of the psalm. But if you think about manifestation, there are new ministries, there are new children in the Lord that are being birthed. There are new uh, things that God is giving birth to, um, new uh, expressions, like I said, of his spirit and how his kingdom operates. And they're children. He's giving birth to them. And I pray that the Lord's quiver is full of these children, that he can shoot in multiple directions. And it truly would be uh, from the launching pad of heaven. It would be from what's in his heart's desire. And it's going to be different. There are going to be different expressions. There are some who are called in the body of Christ simply to be friends of God. They won't be known very well. Um, uh, they will have tremendous revelation and secrets from the Lord. But it will be as if two friends are really close and don't share everything with everyone. They keep it private. And it's just for them. It's just in their dialogue and they enjoy one another. There's going to be many intercessors and prophetic people like that. Some people, just as I was talking to my buddy Cottrell last night, 
There are some prophets, as he said, that are coming out of the caves and they will be manifested. There are some powerful apostolic voices that are rising and they're going to help build these things. Um, but we build in vain, no matter what anointing we are walking in, in any given time or spirit that we're in or um, office that we're called to or whatever uh, administrative gift of the Father helps, whatever it is, um, if the Lord is not building it, we're wasting our time. Because we have to fully understand that the identity of it, uh, uh, that it's fully funded of the Lord, that His hand is upon it, it starts and it ends with God. And so we have to uh, 